Good evening, everyone, with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro later on. I'm Mike Emery. Glad you've joined us for an exciting evening ahead. Let's look at the starting netminders. Jonathan Bernier, the netminder tonight, won a Stanley Cup with Los Angeles, led the American Hockey League in Manchester with nine shutouts, and was a three-year member of the Lewiston team in the Quebec Major Junior League. Carey Price gets the call in goal, still in his 20s, and racking up credentials. Olympic gold, NHL All-Rookie team, winning his goalie in the NHL, and led his team in Hamilton to the American Hockey League Championship. The teams are ready, and so are we. Pozak's got the assignment on winning the opening draw for Toronto. Dearnays gets the same job for Montreal. Opening face-off has begun. Another of many contests between these two fierce rivals. Controlled by Parento. Controlled through the middle. He tried, but he turned it over. Takes it on the wing. Chip to Parento. Propelled to D'Arnais. In a rivalry game, you expect this kind of physical punishment. And play stopped because of an offside. He won't avoid something for doing that. Okay, we're right. Here they go. The decision of the referee is final. It was worth five each for fighting. There's always shenanigans when these two teams get together. These teams do not like each other. Toronto's got a little bit of swagger going now. Their man's won the fight. The crowd is ecstatic. Might be something coming up here. He has been looking for this for a while. Just past three minutes have been skated. Toronto no penalty. surprise, the gloves will drop. A five-minute major for fighting. Montreal penalty to number 79, Andre Markov. Five-minute major. A big roundhouse in the decision. There's nobody in here that wasn't entertained by that fight. Those guys have been eyeing themselves up all night long. They're going to get a chance to look at each other from the penalty box for five minutes. Toronto the Canadians from the neutral zone start to work. A five minute major for fighting. He's going to the net. Emelin's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Toronto's got two on this one for tripping. 54 seconds. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Montreal's getting their first chance of the game on the power play. Toronto penalty. Nice faceoff work. Morgan Riley, two minutes for tripping. Time to the penalties, three minutes, 35 seconds. To Gardner. They must retreat and start back again. Takes it up near the boards. Blue line control has that point pass as well. Not all saves have to be hard. That one wasn't. Can he generate something? Solid job of holding the pressure on. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Subban's cutting through the neutral zone. Wires one up the gut to Pacioretty. Wonderful save. He's into the slot. Marvelous save by Bernier. Slid to Robidoux. To Bozak. Toronto's done it. Back at full strength. To Parento. 
Offside stops the clock. The Maple Leafs need to acknowledge their goaltender after one of the better saves you will ever see. Somebody get this guy a pasta visual. The Canadians with a win at center. Gets in. What'll he do? He knifed it away. Score! You want to score goals, you got to get to this area of the ice. Bernier's presenting himself pretty largely here. However, there's still room for the puck to beat him. Montreal struck first, and we're not even halfway through this opening period. Their energy and physical play allowed them to get this lead. The Canadians Montreal control goal. at center Four ice. Number 40, Nathan Beaulieu. Slap to Placanis. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Six minutes, 58 He's seconds. in front with it. Wonderful centering pass, and it's right to him. No! What a chance! He tried to be too fine with the shot up and over the net. Scooped up by Cockery. Can't get by. Turned it over. Marches on a cross. Blockered away. Another shot. Ooh, that one accidentally blocked. Van Riemsdyk's dance through failed. No luck. Taken right up the middle. He heads right for the net. He got his pad on it. Driven toward center in the shadow of the boards by P.K. Subban. Got it on his stick in the slot. Charged up the wing by Van Riemsdyk. Shoots! Terrific glove save! Near the boards. Gathered in by winning. Decides on the area behind. Wow, what force in that one. He saw that hit coming, but he still made the play. Toronto's recoiling here. A good reach prevailed. Glommed on two by Francis. Right in front, Rene Pochet. The net was knocked off, and so play is stopped. Montreal's got that one. Taken up near the boards by Moen. Really good move. Score! He got it. One time the puck like this, it's going to surprise a lot of goaltenders. For a split second, that ping off the crossbar might mean that it's up over the net. Bad break for the goaltenders. It goes in behind them. Just past three minutes remaining in the period. 
Montreal's advantage in this game has just been enhanced. It's a pair of goals. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Montreal is going to begin the quick road back. Carries it up the side. Sent on goal. Routine save there. Nearing the final minute. Led on to Moen. Moves up along the board. They've got a two on one. Takes that pass at center, see if we can move something. Looks ahead to start something. Up the wing. He could start some danger here. Goal oh, accidentally blocked. 20 minutes have now been played. The Canadians are up two to nothing. Now for a look at the shots on goal in the first period. Nine for Montreal, four for the Maple Leafs. How quickly a one goal lead can become a two. This is the one that made it that. As we go to break. One period played, a second period is about to begin. What do you think of what we've seen so far? Montreal's up by a few goals, and rightfully so, and I think it has a direct result of their time of possession. They've done a really good job of managing the puck all over the ice, which has allowed them to generate a lot of good offensive opportunities in that first period. Carried through center ice by Phil Kessel. Grabbed off by P.K. Subban. Between the blue lines. Shook through, great. Move to the barrier at center ice by Markov. Enormous hit. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Kessel's nicked up here. Guys, he's going to have to finish his shift. They're stuck in their own zone. That one fired down. The defense will win. The race and icing is called. A little under four minutes played here in period two. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Defensive zone win. On to Polak. Laid up that right side to Kessel. He's into the slot. The Canadians shift from defense to offense. Three on one. What a chance. Score! That's three unanswered goals. The goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. Bernier's not made much available for the shooter, but the area he did up over his stick side shoulder has been exposed. Face off win, and now what will they do with it? By number 27, Alex Galchenia. Time of the goal. Five minutes. He drives toward the slot. Enormous collision. This guy hasn't given up. What a hit. Right up the side. Montreal's recoiling here. Headed right under the shadow of the scoreboard. Nice fake. Shakes him loose. Oh, a save there. My, what a hit. Keeps it going back behind the net. Shoots, outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Huge play, that could have been scary. 
Toronto's going to begin the quick road back. And that's an offside. Montreal's got that neutral zone faceoff. Mashed in. Picked up in the attacking zone. Behind the net. Defense to offense. Begun by Placanis. Through center. Couldn't slither by. It goes the other way. Swung between the blue lines by Brendan Gallagher. Pass cut. Might go the other way now. Carries it toward the woodwork. Oh! Laid on to Gallagher. Back in his defensive end to get it. Puck fired down. Decision made. Defenders first. Icing. So satisfying to have delivered a hit like that. Down here, you can hear this hit throughout the rink. Just a bit over four minutes remaining. The Canadians just keep building on that earlier lead. They're up now by three. Clean win on the draw. Okay, so he's got it on his stick. What'll he do next? Good poke check by Emelin. Grabbed off by Pacioretty. Picked up between the blue lines by Emelin. Got on by with that one. What a move. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. To Clarkson. To Kessel. Last minute of play. Oh, that's in good. Players tired, about to get a rest. Seconds to play here, still in the second period. Gains the zone. That's the way to make them pay. Oh, that's going to make them think twice about going to that area. Snatched up by Parenteau. Got that one ahead at center ice. 40 minutes played, 20 minutes to go. Nothing to save it for now. Shots on goal can be deceptive. You decide whether they are in this game or not. 12 for the Canadians and six for the Maple Leafs. Bernier's had a difficult contest and here is an example of that. For now, he gets a rest. So do we as we head to break. Tonight, our world-famous blimp is dropping $50 gift certificates. Keep your eyes to the sky for tonight's big prize. Two teams have played hard through two, and we begin period three. Pinned to the glass. Two sticks together, they cancel. Goaltender pass. Brought ahead. He can start some danger here. Bozak's stick was in a ready position to accept that puck and put it in as a one-timer. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. Toronto's got it off the draw at center. Driven up the wing by Kessel. Good solid defensive play there. Oh, that one.
is questionable. A devastating hit. You make a play like that, you're looking for trouble. Outlet it to Gallagher. One into another. You gotta keep your head up there. Gloved. Moves up the side with it now. Carries it up the wing. Great job. Slips on by. Score! Two straight goals. Under six minutes play. The lead has just been cut in half. Let's see if there's a shift in momentum. The Leafs control from the neutral zone. Moves it to the barrier at center ice. The Canadians will start from their own end. To Bork. He drives toward the slot. Shot. Score! He's got his second. You get this close to the goaltender, the puck on your stick, you got to snap it quick. Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered, but there's obvious. behind him. <laughs> Toronto's One prevailed four, again on the faceoff of the neutral zone. Team, Renee Bork, assisted by number Can seven, he generate seven, something? Gilbert, time of the goal, seven minutes, 41 Lies to the safety behind the net. Got that pass up the same side of the ice. Taken on by Parento. Out in the slot. A wonderful stop. The goalie makes himself look big. Could this be icing? And it will be based on the defense arriving first. Montreal's got another win. And he pushes it on through mid-ice. Oh, and they've got a two-on-one here. Terrific save. Terrific opportunity. Weavers carrying it through center. Nice move to shake on through. Wow, what a glove save. Oh, bad giveaway there. He's into the slot. Gets by. Carried through the middle. Broke that play up at center. Takes it up that side. That puck mashed in. Puck collected back behind the net by Franson. Toronto's recoiling here. Muscled long to winning. A shot. Oh, what a stop. They don't ask how, he just did. Montreal's been assessed a minor penalty. Two minutes, and the call is tripping. Good job on the draw. Good clean win. The Leafs with a face-off win.
Plakanitz won again. His team is winning. All's good.